Fall. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> it's your girl Asia Boo's world, best known as Asia Boo. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, as you can tell by the title, y'all already know what's going on in today's video, okay? So, I did my nails. Yes, I've been doing my own nails since COVID. Um, baby, when they shut down them nails, I was like, y'all got me toe up, okay? Because I needed my nails done. So, I decided to go out and get my own products and do my own nails. So, um, I just decided to pick up the camera and record one day and uh, yeah i'm gonna show y'all how my nails turned out so if you want to know how i got this look please keep on watching all right y'all so all the products y'all are about to see of course i did not use but i did not know what look i was going for so girl i just grabbed a bunch of different stuff and put it on the table and was like girl i'm gonna figure it out okay so here i have my clear acrylic powder i also have my rose powder i have some nude blush acrylic powder um i also have my beige acrylic powder and my liquid monomer all these is in the brand mia secret and all of it came from amazon so i will try my best to link it down below y'all i've had these for like I've had all these products for like two, three years. Here I have my Melody Susie nail drill. I also got it from Amazon. It will be linked down below as well. I have my dust brush. I love this brush. It is so pretty. And these are all the nails I have. Because like I said, I did not know what tips I wanted. So I grabbed them all. So this is my salon nail tips. So like natural tips. These are my white tips. Um, these are more like C-curved. Um, so yeah, I grabbed those. And then the other pair I have are like stilettos. And... I don't think these came off of Amazon. I think these came off of AliExpress. But um, I have those as well. But of course I went with the more natural look. And those was the um, nail salon tips. So I have my Blossom Critical Oil. My Sanding Bands for the nail drill. My Clear Acrylic powder here I have some white acrylic powder that I did not use I have my brushes and my critical pusher critical pusher my bad I have some glitter here that I did not use so well, I did on the tips you'll see later on in the video so I have my sanding buffer my clear fingernail polish and I have my nail primer. I use the Mia Secret, the Extra Bun, and the Nail Prep. And I always use the Super Glue. And like I said, I order all of that off of Amazon. It will be linked below. This is just some more glitter I got from Walmart that I did not use. Mm -hmm. My nail file. My shot glass that I pour my monomer in. And I set my brushes in. So now I'm about to start just pushing my critical bag with my critical pusher. And so, uh, yeah. Keep on watching. Okay, y'all. So this step is completely up to you. You can do what I'm doing and just use your nail file and file your nails down. Or you can use the nail drill to file your nails down with. Me personally, um, I'm using my nail file because that's what I'm more comfortable with. I am so heavy handed that I, when I use the nail drill for my nails, like I be sanding off too much of my real nail. And I be damaging them. So I just use my nail file and i know i'm gonna get you know straight to the point and i ain't got to worry about cutting myself cutting myself with it so maybe i just use this and it works well every time but i am trying to get into the hang of using my nail drill for this step so do what do what's best for you and what you are comfortable with okay okay So 
so yeah the closer i get to finishing my nails the happier i get like this stuff right here is like i'm like so excited for it but <laughs> anyway um as you can see i am um measuring my nails okay i measure from corner to corner i make sure my whole entire nail is covered with the fake nail um most of all most of all my fingers measure the same but some of them are a little bigger than the other ones so with this set I tried to use the same sizes on both of my hands and as you can see on the side right here I just lay I lay them out like you can see right there I lay out my left hand and I lay out my right hand just to get it out the way because I'm right handed so I always do my left hand first so when it's time to go back and do my right hand I don't want to be you know going back you know trying to measure nail pieces so I go ahead and I get that step out the way measure both of my hands make sure they are fitting good I put them in order so I don't get them mixed up and then after that I can just you know go back and just glue them bitches on there and I'm done with it okay so that's that step So this is the next fun part for me and it is cutting my nails to, into the shape that I want. So the shape I was going for was a coffin look. It really was stiletto but I didn't feel like dealing with stiletto so I decided to just choose the coffin. And how I do my coffin shape is I really just, uh, I start where the number is at the bottom of the nail. I don't cut into the number. I just cut like on the, I, I go beside the number and I cut in an angle. And that's how I got the coffin shape. And then after that, I'm going to go back and clean it up with my nail file.
so now I'm going in with my nude blush acrylic and I got me some tissue I will be um I put the top under the acrylic so like it'll be at at an angle and I have my two brushes so I'm probably gonna start off with my small brush and then I'm gonna use my bigger brush but um y'all in the next clips y'all will not be able to see me do my um uh, apply my acrylic step by step because i wasn't in the camera um with doing my own nails like i when it comes to applying the acrylic i gotta make sure it ain't too runny and if it is too runny i gotta hurry up try to catch it I gotta make sure i lay it right I gotta make sure it's the right amount of monomer y'all it's just a lot and you really gotta be focused and you know so you want to make a mess so i wasn't able to put it in the camera frame so y'all could see what i was doing but you know you'll be able to see like here and there of you know what i'm doing so i will be making a more detailed video um soon but here is what my nails came out to be Okay, y'all, so this is another step that I like. Maybe this little buffer thing. Because if you have any unwanted humps, bumps, if you're unsure, if you're unsure about um, the layout of your acrylic, baby, this right here, this little thing right here is going to get you right on together. It's going to snatch you right on up, okay? It's going to leave 
your nails smooth. I ain't gonna be no more humps, no more bumps, no more nothing, baby. This is gonna take care and it's gonna fix all of that, okay? I love this step. Do not skip this step. Baby, boom. So this is how my nails turned out. I put a little glitter at the end of one just to see if I would like it. And I wasn't really into it, so I didn't do the rest of them like that. So as you can see, some of them are stilettos. Some of them are coughing. They just how they came out. I like to do this. I like to switch it up every now and then. So, yeah, I decided to switch it up with that. But, yeah, this is how they came out. I like them. They could have been better now watching the video. But it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment down below. And I will see y'all in the next one.